John, what do you like about this North Carolina team? They are now 2-0 and and, and got two big wins in their back pocket. 2-0. They won two games last year. You know, uh, it's, it's amazing to me. You know, Mac Brown goes back to coaching because he loves it. You know, we, we, we talked about the emotional soundbite that he had last week after the, the South Carolina game. It's amazing. You come in and you instill, you know, su such a culture in terms of belief. These guys believe that they can go in and, and play with anybody. That's impressive. And, you know, I have a true freshman quarterback to go out and play the way he has, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, hats off to the coaching staff, but for the players taking coaching, taking ownership of what they're being asked to do and then playing with emotion and passion. I, I, I love that side of it, watching that from just from a football perspective as a fan. That was amazing. And, and, and they're going to do some things this year. And that's infectious. When, you're, when your coach loves the game, mm -hmm. right? When your coach is like, hey, this is my, not only just – my livelihood, but I'm coming back to be with you because I love this game so much. Mm -hmm. I think that seeps into the players' Absolutely. bodies and kind of their personalities, and they have a new set found love for the game as well. So, you know, I, I see them playing with this emotion that is unmatched across really the, uh, in the entire league and in college football Absolutely. in general. Um, and then when you have, I'm going to embarrass myself here. Go ahead. What you got you for got here? Sam Howell. How Oh, Allen for Howell. That is a real shout out. You're not going to get me to do that. But I am a fan. I am a fan. When you got you know the Sam you Howell. Yeah, when you got that true freshman Sam Howell playing the way he is, mm -hmm. you can piggyback right on your quarterback. And, and he is making passes that are of a fifth year senior. But he definitely will never become a fifth year senior because this guy <laughs> will be three and out in my mind. But he is, he is electric. He's playing well. Deami Brown. His wide receiver is having an unbelievable game. And then on defense, too, they're getting pressure on the quarterback. They are. Damon Fox, three sacks, forced fumble. Just really heads up play all around. I really like UNC. I wouldn't have said this six months ago. But I think with Mac Brown there and the way they've been playing, they're looking really good. Wake Forest better watch out. Look at that. Now, the other half of this, you touched on Sam Howell a little bit. It's exciting that they have these fourth quarter comebacks, but what is it going to take for this team to not put themselves in a position where they don't have to have a fourth quarter comeback? Well, I feel like you watch the South Carolina game, they had Sam Howell kind of handcuffed yeah. in terms of what they were doing. Now, they relied predominantly on the run game in that game, but they started off fast in this game. They had 100, over 170 yards in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was outstanding scheme based on the, the, the problems that Miami showed against Florida. You know, the inability to, to uh, shift when you have motions um, in terms of coverage, um, the, the guys doing their job, challenging them in terms of the trick plays. I mean, they did a good job of, of scheming it up, knowing that you play a lot of man-to-man, -man backside, zero coverage. You take a double move and you, and you end up getting a touchdown. That's, that's looking at the film and forcing the, po the opposing team to say, say, hey, look, did you clean it up this week at practice? Mm -hmm. Or the last two weeks, if you're in Miami because you had a bye week, did you clean it up? And they didn't, but that's what you're supposed to do. Make them fix it first. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they got the win. So even if it is a fourth quarter comeback, they yeah. get it done all the way through.